Hello everyone, this is Claude from Quebec, Canada, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on DJV. Don't forget to subscribe. Good morning, all you beautiful people. Great choice by clicking on this video. The next best thing you can do is click the subscribe button below it because there's a new video pretty much every day. We're starting off here in Elk Point. I think it's called Elk Point, Alberta in Canada. If the snow didn't give that away, well, now you know. And off we go. We're still enjoying that beautiful, warm, mild weather that America shared with us so generously last week with those strong winds coming out of the south. The wind has died down now. Now we're just enjoying that nice little warm, warm spell from it. They're such good neighbors, always sharing. So in return, we're gonna obviously return the favor and uh, now that the wind's calmed down, it's probably gonna start coming out of the north and we're probably gonna share some of our weather with them. You know, free trade. You give us some of your warm weather, we'll give you some of our cold weather. I think that's a good deal. Anyway, so uh, we're not gonna quite make it home tonight yet. If I really booked it and this truck could do the speed limit out here on the west, I could make it, barely. But we'd be home at like two in the morning. And that's just barely stopping for brakes and a fuel once. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get as far as we can today. We're gonna take it easy, try to save some fuel. And we're gonna get home tomorrow. And then tomorrow is Friday when I'm, so I'm filming this on a Thursday. You may be watching this on a different day, but uh, I'm home for the weekend because on Monday, this truck needs to go in for a safety. It's an annual safety that this that's mandated by the government. They wanna make sure my truck's wheels are not gonna fall off. Makes sense, makes sense, I'm not complaining. So uh, I gotta bring that into the shop on Monday. I believe it's about a $500 charge just for the safety. They do uh, a very in-depth, very thorough safety on this truck so you can rest assured that this thing's gonna be tip top. I also need to get this window replaced because I've developed a little crack off camera there. It's not in my line of sight or anything, it's off to the side there. But that's going to need to be replaced to pass the safety. So there's that. So that's about a 400 and some dollar window. So we're looking at close to a thousand dollars just to get the truck in there. Then if they find anything else that needs to be fixed, that's on top of it. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it's going to be less than $3,000, but you just never know. So in the meantime, I'm gonna save as much fuel and money as I can on the way home. I'm not gonna floor it everywhere I go. I am in a hurry to get home, but my wallet is also not in much of a hurry. My wallet says, I think we need to take it easy, trucker truck. I think we need to take it easy. Hurting down here. We're on the four lane divided now. Highway 16 headed east. We're gonna fuel up in Saskatoon on our way. And I'm kind of hoping to make it to Brandon, Manitoba tonight. But I was looking at pictures of the roads yesterday in Manitoba, in western Manitoba or southwest. And, uh, Looked like they were getting a little bit of a snowstorm yesterday. Usually the weather comes from here, out west, and moves east. So if I'm in good weather now, that means that it should follow me home. But as I'm like, facing towards Saskatoon here, it looks like I might be catching up with a bit of that snowstorm. And we're still in like western Sa uh, Saskatchewan. Is if we catch up to this in the middle of Saskatchewan, Manitoba is still definitely going to be getting snow. When I pull over next, I'm going to have to check the forecast and see what's going on there. I'm hoping I don't got to drive through a storm tonight. That would really, really not be pleasant. That would not be what I was hoping for. I'm never really, I never 
never really get what I'm hoping for. Like every time I go home, I'm hoping that the climate's already going to be tropical, and you know, and there'll be palm trees growing in my front yard, and that still hasn't happened yet. People have been promising me that since before I was born. Still hasn't happened. So I never really get what I want. So if I get a snowstorm, I guess I get a snowstorm. So hopefully by the time I get home, I'm going to be home this weekend, and I got a bunch of things I want to get done. So hopefully we'll have some decent weather for that. I want to uh, scrape the snow off our roof. We put on a new roof last year, remember? Because the old roof was a little leaky. So this is our uh, test this winter and this spring will be the test to see if this roof holds. And I'm sure it will, but I still want to scrape the snow off the roof just because of all that extra weight that's on top of there. Gotta do a few dump runs. I'm garbage man John. We don't get garbage service out where we live, so I gotta take the garbage away myself. So that's gonna be a couple of trips in the pickup. I could take the trailer, but then they charge me by weight and it's way more expensive. It's cheaper for me just to do two or three trips with the pickup. Lots to do, always lots to do. And somewhere in there, I wanna sit down on the couch and stare at the TV, that big black frame hanging on the wall. I just wanna stare at it for a few hours. It's gonna be great. We're pulling into the scale house just before Saskatchewan. They are not open. That's why we're pulling in now. Quickly get past the scale so that I can let Diesel out to walk. You can leave. Three hundred meters. Slide right on Trans Canada Highway. Highway 16. Rude. I was gonna say you can leave the good DOT officers a nice little steamy present. Yeah. Nah, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. We'll be nice. Wouldn't want to give them an excuse to pull me in next time. They ever see that on the cameras? That'd just be my luck. They'd be checking the security footage. Be, hey, that driver right there didn't pick up that steamy turd. Put him down on the list. Pull him in next time he comes through here. I don't know why they're American all of a sudden. But <laughs> okay, Diesel. What do you say, bud? What do you say? It's pretty bright out there, man. Let me do it. Let me say it. I'm excited for you. Did I get through this intersection on the green light yet? Right on. So this is Saskatoon. I'm gonna turn left up here into the Pilot Flying J grab some fuel. We've used a little over a, oh, we'll use almost two-thirds of a tank or of my fuel pulling this heavy load from Fort McMurray all the way down here. In three kilometers, turn right on Winuskin Road. This guy's signals are shorting out. They're all going on. See that? I think only the left ones are supposed to be flashing. Let's get in here. Grab some fuel and grab some coffee, and we're gonna continue down the road as far as we can go today until we get tired. Like I was saying earlier, I'd really, really like to get to Brandon, Manitoba. That would leave me only like two and a half to three hours to do tomorrow. 100 meters, make a U turn if possible, and then turn right into 150 meters. But if I get tired before then, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I can get home tomorrow from here already, so wherever I make it to now is just fine. Going home tomorrow. Been on the road for a little while. Uh, it's been a longer trip than the average one recently. That's okay. Christmas is over. The new year has begun. This is the time of year we we run hard. That's a massive tractor. Nice. It's gonna get dark real soon too. At least the days are starting to get longer again though. Can't wait for summertime when I can go home and sit out in the sun on the porch, have a coffee. That was my favorite thing about this past summer. Just sitting on the porch with my wife. First thing in the morning, having our coffee. Can't do that in the winter time. Well, we could, it's just not as enjoyable. Coffee is just as enjoyable, don't get me wrong, but that's the having to wear like 10 layers that sort of kills the moment. It's nice to just walk out there and 
You can go out there in your underwear if you want to. I mean, I put clothes on when I go outside. That's my thing. But Diesel, what do you think? Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I took it there. I took it. I made it weird. I made it weird. It's a spooky night out, so spooky. Oh look, a spooky roundabout. What a waste of time this thing is. So I'll give you one guess where we are. Where else has useless roundabouts like this in Saskatchewan? Where else? In 100 meters, turn right on Trans-Canada Highway, Highway 1. Balgoni baloney. Tell you what, these roundabouts are baloney. That's why I call you Balgoni baloney. What a useless, useless thing. So there's a flying J off down there to the left. You can hardly see it from here. You couldn't see it from the other roundabout. In 100 meters, turn right on Highway 364. Because the spooky fog. It's been foggy for hours already. It's just not letting up. The camera seems to cut through it a little better than my eyeballs do. Just here we're gonna turn left. We're just going in for our last coffee of the day. This will be numero uh, three of the day. Usually I just had two. Continue on this road for 22 kilometers. Why would I do that? Are you lost, Karen? Are you scared of the fog? There we go. Now we can see the flying day. Yeah, usually I only have two. Uh, but today's a special day. We're going home tomorrow. On this road for six kilometers. This guy did not know if I was turning or not because I hadn't turned my signal on yet. He just cut in front of me anyways, assuming that I was turning. Well, he assumed right. Turn our headlights off so we don't blind everybody. So we're in the parking lot. There's fuel here, $1.30.9, $1.31 per liter. That's not too bad. We're not gonna fuel here though. I got lots of fuel from Saskatoon still. We're gonna fuel in Winnipeg or Headingley tomorrow before we go home. Those guys got huge pipes. Look at this guy on the left. Pipes for days. So this is gonna be like eight, eight inch pipes. Maybe 10. Trying to prove something, bud, or what? You're making me jealous here. I want those. Yeah, this guy is sticking way out. Way out here. Truck's all full of frost. That's probably what my truck looks like. Driving through this fog, it just...
covers the front of your truck in this thick coating of ice. It turns to ice, eh? As you... Look at this guy blocking the pump. Oh, no, no, he's going in there now. He's not blocking the pump. <laughs> Hold your anger, Charger Dog. Don't get mad right away. I just assume the worst of people, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> Look at this guy blocking the pump. Oh, he's not blocking the pump. We're not even getting fuel. I'm just going to slip right through. Slippery little slip right through here. Threading the needle slowly. Slowly. Making sure we don't hit anybody walking around. Not everybody wears their reflective vest in the truck stop parking lot for some reason. But hey, if they want to die, that's there. That's up to them, I guess. All right, we're in uh, Grenfell. Grenfell? Grenfell, what it's called? Saskatchewan. We're not going to quite make it to Brandon, but... We made it here, anyways. We figured out how to get into this lot. It's the Petrol Pass. We'll stay here the night. Looks like they're closed. Oh no, this store's still open. I'm tired. It's time to go to bed. Hopefully they'll have some parking. Right. 200 meters, turn right on. Garnet Street and then turn right into 190 meters. It's not a very big parking lot, but it's not a very popular truck stop anyway, you know? So, let's see. We've got some spots over here. Oh, this is a spot. I think that's a spot. I'm going to make it a spot. Back in right here along this fence. There we go. Weasel. Weasel. It's been a good day, man. It's been a good day. So uh, I'm going to make this real short because I'm going straight to bed. I want to get out of here as fast as I can tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Subscribe. Hit the like button. And tune in for tomorrow's video. We've got five hours to get home yet.